All right, this is homelessness in Baltimore, and they ain't no, this man ain't sitting here uh, scrounging and scraping. He putting in work. Tell him what you do. So my mask is five dollars. Five dollar Under Armour mask is ten dollar earphones. He trying to make money. He ain't begging. You feel me? And we want to confront that. All right. Now he's standing right in the shadow of the Baltimore Sun. This is the Baltimore Sun. All right. That's the homeless encampment. All right. That's your homeless encampment. And this is Starbucks. We confront racism to create a more inclusive and just world. We stand in solidarity with our black partners, customers, and communities. We will not be bystanders. This man ain't asking for nothing. He trying to earn something. You know what I'm saying? Always, I never hustle besides selling drugs. Besides me picking up the drugs, this is my drug free here. Change your product. Don't change your hustle. Change your product. Don't change your hustle. Has the health department been down here to take care of y'all? Has Brandon Scott been down here to take care of y'all? Have I been down here to take care of y'all? Yes, sir. Don't I feed y'all? This man feed us, take care of us, come out of his town, talk to the homeless, you know. I fight for y'all. Yeah, he fight for us. I've been sleep, sleeping in the tent, you feel me? And they still telling us they want to give us house and pitting us in the motels. They, they still, and they're sending you right back. They sending us right back out here to the murder get fucked up. You Have y'all been tested for corona? No, sir. Huh? Has any testing sites can be set up down here? Has the city sent anybody to test y'all? Yes, sir. And another thing, man, I was around McVet. They talk to you any kind of way. They look down on the homeless. They lied on me. The lady sit there and lied and called the city and said I mushed her face and got me pit out, 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 out fucking McVet. So if I if I push this lady face, why she didn't call the police to press charges and hand me over since you booking? And they believed in her, and they really kicked me that out. That Karen shit. They kid. That Karen. And they talk to you any kind of way down there. They, you feel they, they tell us, oh, yeah, you don't listen to the, my rules. You can get out. They put they pit people out in the cold. I done watched them put a man out in a wheelchair in a cold. And this is the bottom of the sun. And this supposed to be a Mick Vett shout that y'all supposed to foot file on me, man. Like, and one day... The man came down there and said, this clothes is for the homeless, not for the army people, because she, he said the army people can get money to buy clothes. We can't really get clothes because we homeless. And she took the whole bag in there and gave it to the army people and said, forget the homeless. All right. Now, this is the homeless. Governor O'Malley made a lot of money off of making people homeless, stopping frisk zero tolerance. It ain't just about, it's about homelessness, it's about mass incarceration, it's about bars. You feel me? Y'all getting rich off of us. You feel me? Clack, clack, came down here, got a lot of money, got Mercedes Benz. You getting rich off of us. But this is us, we the people. You feel me? We the I people. I understand, I made, I made, I might have made a messed up life and, and made a messed up life is, in my life. The reason I'm out here, I didn't go by my wife Rouge, you understand? You know, when you living with somebody, you got to go by Rouge. My wife took me in, and I met, as a man, I got comfortable, and I started giving her my butt to kiss, you feel me? Then leave by her Rouge, she got tired of me and picked me out. That don't mean she don't love me, you feel me? She just want her man to do better for himself, you understand? That's right. And I love my I love my wife with the duff. I love her, my wife. Her name Tanya Dickens. Y'all can check her page out. She got a, a fund me page. She taking care of the homeless kids, giving back to our community. And I really love her, and I love my grandkids. That's my right. grandkids named Seven and Queen. They my heart. I would die for them. And I would die for my wife. That was my. That's my friend. That's the only person I got is by my side. She treat me better than my real family do. So in the long run, Samira and all of them. That's my family. They my family. I'm your family too. I'm Uncle Show. Right I'm here. Uncle Shorty. For this man, man, he give me the motivation to stay strong and survive, to keep my strength up and keep my wisdom up as being a man. He teaching me my corrects and my wrongs. When I'm wrong, he let me know, brother, you wrong. You need to, you need to pick yourself back up. This is a good man, man.
blessing for him, man. I don't know what to do, man. I'll be out here lost, man. I walking around, probably robbing people. Robbing, doing, doing something stupid. Doing something stupid. Doing something stupid. Well, my man told me I don't got to do nothing stupid. He said, man, find something you like you can do. And this is what I like to do. This is my hustle right here. Change your product. Don't change just, your hustle. I just ask y'all, anybody out here watching, man. Come down here. Come, Come down, down here. here. And, and support the homeless. You feel me? You see what this, you see what this little she shit right? You see what I'm saying? We ain't got no bathroom, nothing. You know what I'm saying? This homelessness down here, man. And this the Baltimore Sun. This Justin Fenton. This 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 high society. Protecting white supremacy in Baltimore.